Today we have a battle video of Whitebeard Edward Newgate vs Emporio Ivankov. I'll be piloting the Ivankov deck. To be honest, I'm not really good at playing the Ivankov deck even though I main blue decks most of the time. So let's see if we have what it takes to win Whitebeard. Right now we're just setting up the board and I believe I'll be going first. Going first, um, I managed to play the buggy on the first turn and then I pass it to uh, Edward Newgate or Chris, he's piloting the deck. So on his first turn, he played the Moby Dick and then passing the turn. And then off buggy, I added Inazuma. So Whitebeard at the end of each of his turn, he has to add a life into his hand. And then right now, during my turn, I believe I don't have any play. So I attach 3 Dawn and swing into his leader. So 8,000, he decides to take it. So we are at 4 to 5 life now. During his turn, he attached a Dawn, 7,000 into Ivankov, which I didn't block. And he ended the turn by playing a Bartolomeo and then adding another life into his hand. So I attached a Dawn, 6,000, swinging into his leader, which he took the damage. And then by playing 4 Dawns, I played Mr. Tree, Galdino. So back to his turn draws a card, attaching a Dawn, 7,000 into the leader once again, which I decided to take it. And he played King Dew for 5 Dawns, and then ending the turn by adding a life into his hand. So right now, Moby Dick is active. So during his turn, all of his White Beard uh, character, and Edward Newgate plus 2,000. So right now, my turn, I'm at 7 Dawns. And yeah, on managed to play Ivankov on curve. So I play Ivankov down and then its ability allows me to play a 6 cost or lower blue impel down, which is um, Luffy. And I, yeah, because I have no dons, I couldn't attack because um, Ivankov is at 5000. So yeah, so Ivankov attack, I blocked it using 4k and then King Dew attack and I decided to let it go so right now we are at 1 to 2 life and then he played 2 choppers with 1 marco so he has 4 blockers on his field so definitely it's gonna be a tough time for me to break through his defenses even though he doesn't have any more life at this point so I begin the turn by attacking using Luffy using its ability by discarding 2 card I can return a Cost for a lower character back to his owner's hand. So using the ability, I... Oh, okay. So I did not use the ability. And I targeted the leader, so he blocked using 2k. And then Ivankov swings again for 7,000. He blocked it using Otama. And I followed it up with Mihawk, returning King Dew to the bottom of his deck. And once again, because I don't have additional Dawn to attach to Ivankov, I couldn't swing into his leader. Yeah, but that being said, he still has 4 blockers on his field. So right now, Whitebeard is swinging for 8,000 at Luffy. So I believe that would be a 2k guard. And he played Edward Newgate character. So right now, his uh, Whitebeard has 2,000 attack, even during my turn. So it will be even tougher for me to break through his defense. So I paid 3 Dawns to play Do Flamingo, which allows me to check the top 5 cards in my deck and arrange it uh, in any order or put it at the bottom of my deck. So yeah, I was just uh, stacking up the uh, blockers and then I attached 3 Dawns using Galdino to attack. I believe swinging into his leader, which he easily guts it with a uh, 1000 counter and I attach 4 dons so 9000 swinging into white beard which is an easy 2k guard or at this point he used the guard point and at the end of the turn I used Galdino's ability to uh, reactivate by discarding a card and then passing it back to white beard so he activated the event White Beard Pirates, which allows him to search for a White Beard character card from the top five cards of his deck. 
and he searched for squad so he attaches two dawns onto whitebeard so on attack he has the same ability as robin so whitebeard is attacking for 8k which i have to block so he decided to remove one of his chopper to play squad to, re to reduce the attack of Luffy by 4000 which makes it um, in range to be killed by Whitebeard character's uh, ability which, is, which right now is at 14k so I couldn't guard it so I took the damage, right now I'm at 1 life so he passed the turn I attached, I attached a Dawn to Galdino So attach another two dawn. So right now Galdino is at 8,000 swinging into his leader, which he easily blocked with Chopper. And attach another dawn swinging into make that two dawn 7,000 into White Beard, and he blocked it using Bartolomeo. Attach a dawn onto Ivankov swinging to his leader, and he blocked it using uh, Radical Beam. And finally, I swing using Mihawk, and he blocked it with another Radical Beam. And I played 4 Dawns to play Inazuma, which is a blocker, and I used uh, Mr. Tree's ability to reactive itself. So right now I have 2 blockers, which at this point I, I don't think will be enough. So he played 7 Dawns to play Ace, reducing both blockers, reducing both Inazuma and Mihawk's attack by 3000 each. So right now Inazuma can be KO'd by white beard character's effect which he does so so right now 14,000 swinging into I think he's still deciding but on, on attack it KOs my Inazuma yeah so white beard character swings into my life which I didn't block and then 7,000 Marco into leader I blocked it and then another 7,000 onto leader yeah, so I got it again Nine thousand into leader, I have to block it, and yeah, finally ace uh, attack for game, which I couldn't block, and the winner goes to White Beard. So it looks like I have to practice more with Ivankov. So here are the deck lists used today. First, we have the Ivankov deck list. Next, we have the White Beard deck list. If you've enjoyed the video, do give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more One Piece content. Let me know in the comments if you saw any misplays or plays that could have been done better. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my uploads and more One Piece TCG content. And with that, thank you once again for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.